Brian Dulesky with Able Distributors. Today we're going over the top six error codes for the TFTN. This will kind of help you diagnose any problems. Again, if you install it right, you vent it right, you gas pipe it right, you drain it right, you do a combustion analysis, you treat the water, you're never going to have to worry about any of these codes. But let's get into it. I, they're actually very, very good. NTI puts together a very, very good manual, one of the best probably. So they have a few pages of error codes. What I did was I went through and I just kind of picked out the ones that we feel you might run across and what you would check. So let's get into it. An error code 101, it's an overheat. So that means that that boiler, either on the outlet pipe or the inlet pipe, or both hit 210 degrees. Obviously it's gonna lock itself out. It's way too hot. So the things you wanna check, obviously check that boiler pump, make sure it's working. If you have a Y strainer ahead of that return side, make sure it's clean. Whatever you got going on, make sure that you got plenty of flow through that boiler. Then you're gonna check the wiring honestly to the sensors, make sure nothing came off or fell off or vibrated off or anything like that. And then last but not least, you might call tech support and check the actual sensor. The next code is a 113, and that's a low water cutoff. Obviously, it's pretty simple. If you're low on water, it's gonna shut off the, the system. Now, these low water cutoffs have a little light on them. So if the light's on, you're in good shape. If the light's off, that means it cut. So it's either a fuse, 24 volt fuse, typically right above where that low water cutoff is, is a little error uh, eliminator. So you gotta make sure that's working, make sure there's just not air packed up there. You need at least 12 PSI in there to make this thing work properly. And then last but not least, call tech support and they might have you check the actual sensor to make sure the sensor is actually doing what it should do. Code 114, outdoor temperature missing. So this means you had an outdoor temperature sensor wired there and for some reason the board's not picking it up. Now with this boiler, you can do that via Wi-Fi to take advantage of outdoor resets so on a day like today. In February, it's 50 degrees out. You might not have to fire that boiler all the way. So if you connected it via Wi-Fi, you just gotta make sure you didn't lose that signal. If you connected, connected it wired, I would check the wire going outside and then of course check that sensor outside. Code 1P4, low water pressure. So again, pretty simple thing to check. Make sure your fill valve is operating properly. Make sure all that stuff. This typically would go on if you went below seven PSI, you know, as a, as a caution, because that's low. Again, we want 12 PSI. So once you bring it up to 12 PSI, if it's showing 12 PSI and it's still showing this code, it might be the sensor. So again, tech support would be good for that. Flame detected while burner is off. I always like this one because the flame detection in most things, including a furnace, it's just a trickle of electricity that comes, feeds back through ground. So if you're detecting flame while the burner is off, it could be the wire is pinched or shorted or broken. It could be that the sensor is wet or the heat exchanger is filled with water, or it could be the sensor. Number 501. Ignition failed. Obviously, this is a vague ignition fail. It could be a lot of things. This year, more than any other, at least in Northern Illinois, we've been having multiple birds in intakes and exhausts. Little birds, I don't know if they didn't fly south for the winter. I don't know what's going on, but more than ever before, we're getting birds stacked up in the intakes and exhaust. So that would be the first thing I would check just to make sure your intake exhaust is clear. Then I would check your gas pressure. I would check the condensate drain to make sure that it's not backed up and filling the heat exchanger up with water. Combustion settings. So if this is installed or anything changed in the house, maybe you have to go back and do a combustion analysis on it and set those two uh, mixture screws. The spark electrode gap is too large. And sometimes if a boiler is running hot, these things will actually warp a little bit. So instead of a really, really close gap, you'll end up with one that's almost half an inch. Or you could have a bad electrode that doesn't even let this thing spark to get going. 
Again, the NTI tech support is 1-800-688-2575. And again, I think these might be the most popular that would come up. Again, we've had great success with the NTI boilers and typically if they're installed correctly and the flows are good, we don't see any of these. So again, you only get one chance to do it right the first time. Make sure you do it right the first time. And again, all this is in the manual for the TFTN errors and diagnostics. Brian Dulesky, thank you. <laughs>